This coming Sunday will be Tisha B'Av, and so I want to talk for a couple of minutes about Sefer Eicha. Normally, when we think of Sefer Eicha, we think of it as just a really sad book, and it is a really sad book. Um, it's a list of terrible things that happened to B'nai Israel in the time period of the Chorban. But if we take a look at Eicha a little bit closer, we see that what we actually have in Eicha are detailed different approaches to tragedy. How are we supposed to react? What's the human response when something really terrible happens? And what I love about the Sefer is that it just doesn't just give us one answer to that question, but it details a couple of different answers to that question. So what I want to do is take a look at the first three prakim of Eicha very quickly and see what kind of response to tragedy do we have in these three prakim. So take a look at Perak Aleph in Sefer Eicha. And Perak Aleph opens up, Eicha yashra badad ha'ir rabati am ha'ita ka'almana. It opens with the imagery of B'nai Yisrael being like an almana, being like a widow. And if we go through the rest of the parak, we see that actually we have a different image that's presented in the rest of the parak, and that's the image of Yushalayim being like a zona, Yushalayim being like a woman who strayed from her husband. And actually, throughout the parak, the emphasis of parak Aleph is all about the sins of B'nai Yisrael. What happened that caused B'nai Yisrael to be in this position? Well, it's because Yushalayim herself has sinned. And the idea of sinning is mentioned no fewer, actually, than eight times in this parak. Chet chata Yushalayim al kein l'nida hayata. Yushalayim sins, so therefore she is abandoned. If you take a step back, what kind of response to tragedy is presented in parak Aleph? It's a response that internalizes. It's somebody saying, hey, something terrible happened to me, and why did this terrible thing happen to me? Well, it's all my fault. I was terrible, so terrible stuff happened to me. That's essentially what we have in Parak Aleph. Turn to Parak Bet. Parak Bet presents a totally different response to tragedy. And Parak Bet is not at all about the sinning of B'nai Israel, but Parak Bet is all about how angry God is. The first pasuk of Parak Bet, Echa ya'iv ba'apo Hashem et bat Zion, hi shlich mishamayim ares tiferet Yisrael. In God's anger, God shamed Zion. In this parak, Hashem's anger is mentioned no less than seven times. Darach kashto ka'oyev. Hashem is referenced here as our enemy who set up a bow against us to destroy us. In parak bet, the response is really all about externalizing. Something terrible happened to me. Why did something terrible happen to me? It happens to me because God is really angry. God is an angry God, that's why it happened. I'm not taking responsibility for this myself. I'm putting the responsibility on God and on God's anger. And what's amazing is to look at these two responses in contrast to each other. Both of them are presented as valid human responses, the internalizing and the externalizing. But what's so interesting is the Sefer does not just leave it at that. And if you take a look at Paragimel, what we have in Paragimel is really a kind of a what's the next step after this internalization and what's the next step after this externalization. Paragimel starts off with a description of God's anger. Sounds a lot like Paragbet. But then it goes on and it says as follows. Chaste Hashem kilo tamnu. I know that God's really angry and that all these terrible things have happened, but I also know something else. And what else do I know? I know that God is good. Chadashim lab karim rabba emunatacha. And then I, I also know that God's goodness is renewed every single day. And so therefore, maybe there's some kind of point in this tragedy, in this terrible thing that has befallen me. Tovla geber ki sa'ol rav. Maybe the suffering can help me grow up. And it doesn't just leave it at that. It says, nach besa darchinu v'nach kora v'nashuva ad Hashem. Maybe I shouldn't just say it's my fault. Maybe I shouldn't just feel terrible about myself, but maybe I should use this as an opportunity to connect. And a particular form of connection that is uh, presented in Perak Gimel is really about tefillah. Nisalava venu el kapayim el kel vashamayim. Let's talk to God. Let's speak up to God. Let's talk to God about how we're feeling. So we have here in the trajectory of these three prakim is really a first response, which is this response of, oh my goodness, it's all my fault. And then an anger. 
and then a, you know what, let's do something about this. Let's reach out. Let's talk. Um, and what I love about this safe air is that what it does is it really validates a whole range of human responses to tragedy. And in the end, tells us, don't just sit there. Get out your feelings. Talk about it. Um, and so I want to leave you with, with those thoughts on, on dealing with tragedy um, and wishing everybody a Shabbat Shalom and a very meaningful Tisha B'Av.